Good morning guys, welcome to Rathburn Contracting. Today, we got a busy day. We gotta go grade the garage. We're gonna get sand in, get it nice and leveled off and backfilled so the builders have a nice flat surface to work on. And then we gotta go pour that patio that we prepped uh, last week. It's finally holding up on the rain. So we're gonna probably have to use the MT100 to get around. We don't have a tracked buggy. Um, and the hill is just way too steep for any tires. So this is a probably like a fifth of a yard. So it's not the fastest thing, but it is only four yards. So I guess that is 20 trips, which sounds like a lot, but I think I'm gonna drive this and I'm gonna have the guys pour it because it's a smaller patio. So, you know, if something goes wrong, I can always fix it but it'd be a great opportunity to get them some practice. So I'm gonna get loaded up and we will see you guys at the job. All right, just got the MT100 fueled up and loaded up. The guys aren't coming in until nine today, letting them sleep in and catch up. Don't, I don't want them getting burnt out this early in the year. So trying to take it easy on them so that we can all uh, kind of get back into conditioning together. I've been doing a ton of stretching and exercising over the winter to stay in shape. But if you haven't, then you're gonna be really hurting if you just jump right back into this. So trying to be understanding of that and give them a little bit of rest so that we can now ramp up to our full summer pace without having any injuries or complete mental burnout, so. I'm gonna head up to the job. Unfortunately, I have to drop the machine there, drive all the way back down this area, get sand, and then bring it back up. But it's just one of those jobs that's kind of stuck in a little pocket where there's not much around. So we will see you guys at the job. We'll get this machine dropped and we'll get today rolling. All right, just got to the job. The block's looking good, curing out. I'm gonna drop the machine and go find some sand. minutes there will put me at 8 45 15 minutes is nine o'clock back up here at 9 30 half an hour spreading is 10 to the job at a lot yeah that's man it's a lot of fuel but it's the only way that makes sense I'm, I'm just gonna head down to eight point they have exactly what I want and I don't want to try to go somewhere new and have to set up an account that'll take me longer than the extra drive all right we will see you guys at eight point Just got to the job. I'm gonna try to back in as close to the door opening as possible. That way I don't have to do much movement with the machine because it's obviously a smaller machine.
good. That's why I keep this battery charger in here constantly hooked up to a power inverter so that I never have a dead battery. It's worked uh, pretty good for two and a half years now, this system. Even on jobs where I'm dumping like every 20 minutes or so, it's uh, fast enough to recharge. All right, back to the shop. Just getting some wire mesh, a couple more supplies. I'm gonna try spraying a soapy mix on the machine to see if it cleans it better. I'll use this boat wash. I sold my boat, so <laughs> I don't need it. Um, no, that'll scratch the machine. We can put it in the bed of the truck. We're gonna joint this so we don't have to come back and saw cut. All right, you guys should have the address. It's, uh, it's the job that we did around the patio where we went to the school first. I think it was 15 something. Got some wire, got the machine, got the soap to try that. I got a trash bag to clean trucks. I got all my tools. Got my lunch. I think I'm, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I always usually forget one thing, but. Oh, the boss is home. Love you. Join it, so Join it strip forms, everything. Gonna go make us some money. All right, let's go get some concrete poured. All right, let's see what we got. I need to get pouring tools out. Drake, will you go down and measure, yeah. remeasure, and make sure your math still works for four yards? Then we, what, times it by 4.5? Nope, almost, but nope. What is it? You gotta divide it by four, oh. and then times by 4.5, otherwise it'd be 16 yards. So it'd be divided by four? Yep. Okay. 3.65. So what would you order? Four. Four? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go buy a wheelbarrow. Totally forgot that. I told you I'd forget something. So we'll get that uh, for washout. We put a tablecloth liner, like for a party table. Put that in the wheelbarrow so they don't get trashed. And uh, then it slides out of the wheelbarrow nice. So thankfully there's a hardware store right around the corner. Just like that. 
We'll see how long this puppy lasts. I'm gonna swap out the tire to a good tire. Maybe I'll make a deal with the guys. Whoever keeps it the most clean throughout the summer gets a end of year extra bonus. find a different spot for the truck which is always tricky on trash day. I think I got a spot back there though. We're gonna have to keep boots in the cab till I get that toolbox fixed. They're a little moist. What's going on? So they're kind of parked in the way, so I don't know if there's a somewhat easy way to turn around and we'll film me kind of like this so I can just go at an angle. Otherwise, you have to film me down there and I'll drive <laughs> all the way down. All right, somewhere around the six. Here's your rebar puller, Luke. Thank you. I'll be dumping low so there shouldn't be any splatter, so don't stomp. Oh, we're stripping today? Yeah. Nice. Oh, shoot. No, we won't. That'll be way too sketchy to strip back there. Yeah. It's real. It'll just cave in. Yeah. All right, still, though, I don't want to power wash. Yeah. Any questions? Will you check that? I'm pretty sure I got it where you bought it. I'll, yeah, I'll set the form and I'll bowl float. Just make sure you hand float at the proper angle so that your screed makes sense. Okay. And make sure you pull the white. All right, let's see how this goes.
getting ready to catch this. Oh! I'll take that throw. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Let's see how good you screeded. Not too shabby. kidding guys I'm not Ryan <laughs> all right what is one thing you guys learned on the job that you would do differently next time the way I screwed. and what does that mean uh, it's better at punching the center because I was like really focused on getting the edges right yep. so I could just zip 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 but it doesn't work anymore. so you were going like this and this yeah and ignoring the middle yeah pretty much Yep, you know, that's super common. What about you, Luke? We're gonna go sideways on that hill. Uh, to make sure I have all the tools out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Getting back into the swing of things. It's I to be a little expected. I, I learned that the dingo is too small of a bucket <laughs> to pour a patio. That was, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna count on the camera, but I think it's probably a little too many trips to be worth it. Would, do you think that if we had a track buggy, that it would do this hill climb? Yes. Okay. Maybe if we were loading down here and pouring up there, no, but going up empty. Okay. I don't think it would be a problem. All right, that is a wrap on this little patio project. We got it poured. It's gonna be uh, cool the next few nights. So it'll cure nice and slow. We'll come back tomorrow, strip all the forms, grind out the joints, make this thing really nice. Make sure there's no splatter on the walls. And then we're pouring another front porch tomorrow morning. Nice job. Like nice job. Like one? One yeah, for how tricky it is. Yeah. All right, we'll do uh, we'll do eight at the shop. Okay. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, just got back to the shop. What a great day! It turned out really good. Got the guys some good practice pouring. I'm going to power wash the old MT-100 and the stamps from the patio job, get them all sparkling. I like to power wash that thing every time after we use it for concrete. I'm gonna get this washed and we will see you guys tomorrow morning.